Now we talk about proportion test. You can copy this from the description of the video. Now say there is a marketing firm. So initially only 15 people out of 100 approved of their product. So 15 people out of 100 approved of their product. They ran an advertising campaign and then 25 people out of 100 approved their product. So when you say 25 approved, that means 75 did not approve. So this is kind of a binary. So you have 15% approving, that means 85% are either not approving or are not interested, disinterested. So we want to find out, is there a difference between 15% and 25%? And uh, your sample size is large enough. So we select this and we run the R test. And you, uh, here you just see the confidence interval. So you see that the zero value lies in the confidence interval. So zero lies in the confidence interval. That means the difference between the two proportions is equal to zero. That is your null hypothesis. It is accepted. Even p value is 0 0.1116. That is, it is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, you end up accepting the hypothesis. So the hypothesis, the null hypothesis in proportion testing always is that these two proportions, 15% and 25% are always equal. And since zero lies within the confidence interval, that means these proportions are equal. Now let us run the proportion test an another time. Now you have a different count. So 45 people out of 100 approved of the product and then the company ran an advertisement. So once you run the advertisement, the company went out and conducted the survey again. When it conducted the survey again, so 66 people approved out of a sample size of 110. So instead of 100, you have 110 here. So we are not talking about percentages. So this is 45 out of 100. First time, do advertisement, now you have 66 people approving out of 110. So we want to see whether these two proportions are different. So again, you run the test. And now you see the p-value is 0 0.04. So you reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis in the proportion test is that the two proportions are equal. So here we have the hypothesis that two proportions are not equal. And you can see in the confidence interval also. Zero does not lie in the confidence interval. So the two proportions are not equal. So first proportion is 45%. The second proportion is 66 out of 110, which will, will become 60%. And uh, that is the story. So you can see if you're given two data like this, you can see in the first case, the proportions are statistically equal. So 15% is not equal to 25%, but statistically they are equal. They're not significantly different from each other. And here 45 out of 100 is statistically different from 66 out of 110. So if advertising agency submits to you claim this claim here, you can see that they have not done much. So you can say that, you know, our campaign has essentially failed. But if you get figures like this, you can say your campaign has succeeded.